Alexa! Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below on how you use Alexa. I wanted to give you a warning that Ben does have a seizure during today's video. He has them daily and most of the time I cut them out. Hi, so it's raining outside, so I thought I would show you how a special needs family uses Alexa to make our day-to-day -day life a little easier. One of the ways we use Alexa is with the ring doorbell cameras. Alexa, show me Benjamin's room. You can see Ben sleeping. This was really handy when I had night nursing stuff. If a um, pulse ox monitor went off or a heart monitor went off, I could ask Alexa to show me Ben's room and I could check on him, see that he was good, make sure the nurse was good and that they didn't need any help and then just go back to sleep without actually going in there and just stopping them. Alexa, put your hand washing gun. Here's hand washing, a daily career on Amazon Music. You know, I feel kind of hungry. I wouldn't mind having a little snack right about now. But before I do, I'm going to wash my hands. I always wash my hands before I have something to eat. It's a good habit that helps me stay. Another fun feature that Alexa can do is keep up with all of our appointments. Hey Alexa, when's my next appointment? Your next event is on Tuesday, May 26th at 10.15 a.m. There's E N T appointment. Another awesome feature that Alexa can do is turn on all lights. Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn kitchen to blue. Okay. And we can also change the lights. We have the changing color lights in the kitchen, in the living room, and then also in the bathroom we have the light bulb or we have the light switch that Alexa can turn on. Ben also has several lights in his room that Alexa can turn on and I'll we'll show y'all that. Alexa, turn on Ben's bed. Okay. Alexa, turn off Ben's bed. Okay. Alexa, turn on Ben's room. Okay. Alexa, turn Ben's room to bright white. Okay. Being able to turn on and off Ben's lights and change the colors of it has been really handy, especially during the night when Ben has a seizure or a monitor going off. I don't have to get out of bed and turn on the lights to be able to see him. I can just have Alexa turn on the lights and be able to check on him without ever leaving his sight. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes. Starting now. Take your medication after you've been feeding for 15 minutes. And so instead of trying to find a clock and adding 15 minutes to it and to know that that is the time that I'm supposed to give a rescue medication, it is really easy when he just starts to seize just to be like, Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. And then when it goes off, I know it's time to give him a rescue medication. If Ben does not seize the whole 15 minutes, I can ask Alexa how much time is left on my timer and then I can, um, if I'm documenting his seizures at that time, write it down. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? You have 14 minutes left on your 15 minutes timer. So I knew he seized for a minute. So if I was documenting it, I could write it was a minute seizure. We do not document Ben's seizures very often because he seizes so often and his neurologist isn't really... If Ben did something different during a seizure, I might video it and send it to his neurologist and be like hey this was different but on average we most of the time don't and even if Ben was seizing and I didn't have my phone there to video it um the ring camo picks up and saves every movement and so I could go back and look at the time that his seizure started and just get the video from that and send it to his neurologist. <laughs> Got my last Diet Coke. 
Alexa. Add Diet Coke to shopping list. I added on Diet Coke to your shopping list. Thank you. Alexa, when is it going to stop raining? It's raining right now. Flash drive warning is in effect until 2. Alexa, what's the weather for the rest of the week? Weather alert for Fort Worth. There's a flash flood warning in effect until Saturday, May 16, 2 p.m. The forecast for the next seven days. Sunday, 86 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy skies. Monday, 89 degrees and lots of sun. Tuesday, 86 degrees and mostly sunny. Alexa, play small music in Ben's room. All right, the station, Spa, on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop music. Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Ambo, come here. Announcing. We do have Alexas throughout our house, and so when I do have her make an announcement, it doesn't matter what room you are in, you'll pretty much be able to hear that I have made an announcement and I need help. I made an announcement the other night. Ben was thrashing in pain and I couldn't leave him to go get pain medicine. And so I needed someone to come be with Ben so I could get the pain medicine. So I just made an announcement to for Ambo to come here and she came here and sat with him and I was able to get the pain medicine in him without him holding himself while I tried to draw it out. Another way we've used the announcement has been to, if Ben's having a seizure and he's desatting and I haven't, and I needed 911 called, and I haven't been able to actually call them because Ben is needing my full attention, I can make an announcement for someone to call 911 and that has been very handy also. Wow, do you know how old Batman is? I don't. Let's ask Alexa. Alexa, how old is Batman? Batman's age is debated among comic book fans. Since he first appeared in Detective Comics in May 1939, his timeline has changed a lot, and there have been many film TV and comic book adaptations of the Cape Crusader. Some fans believe Bruce when he first got into power when he was 25 and has been Batman for 11 years, making him 36. Others have added up the time passed in all the major story arcs and believe him to be in his mid 40s. He's around 36 to 40. Nice! <laughs> He's done the drugs. announcements throughout the day at 9 a.m. at 3 p.m. and at 9 p.m. and it's just a reminder that it's time to give Ben his meds. Should we do that? Alexa, tomorrow at 10 remind me to call the pharmacy for a refill on gabapentin. Is that 10 o'clock in the morning or in the evening? In the morning. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> 